I was walking back to my car and there was a homeless man who was sat on the floor. He had Snoop, whose original name was Tyson, tied to a black metal gate around the neck. And it was, he was tied with rope. It was an abandoned building, but he looked really uncomfortable. But he had a sign out saying, can someone take my dog off me? I can't look after my dog. So he had a daughter whose boyfriend bought the dog for the daughter and then they split up and she then didn't know what to do with the dog so gave the dog to her dad so he then committed to, to looking after tyson he had it for about a month had tyson for about a month on the streets and realized that he just couldn't look after him at all he had no money he had a can of stella in his in his hand so he's an alcoholic obviously had a drinking problem and he just said look I, I just want i want tyson to have a good life i can't provide a good life so i thought in that split moment i thought i'm gonna rescue snoop i'm gonna get tyson away from this man and give him a good life the homeless man was in tears so he was sad that he was going but happy that he was on to a better life uh, with me initially i thought the best i could do is give him to the rspca the following day or give him to someone else that could look after him when i put him in the car taking him away from the homeless man. Um, he did um, He did sort of put his paws on my on my lap as I was driving away. Probably as a sign of like, thank you for rescuing me. Kept him overnight, uh, woke up the next morning to him snuggling into me. So then it was that point then I realized he's mine. I'm gonna look after him and turn his life around. So this is Snoop. I named him Snoop after Snoop Dogg. Oh, that's a good boy, good boy and i guess there's similarities with with snoop dogg the rapper as well so i ended up buying him lots of food because he was really underweight as well when he was tied to the metal gate he he was quite skinny you could see his ribs so now he's looking really really healthy compared to what he was like back when he was six months old he's eight years old now he's he's living the life that he deserves snoop's favorite thing to do he loves to lift humongous sticks snoop loves lifting big trees he's always been a big wood collector especially now it's, we're coming into winter. It's really handy actually, because he'll go off and he'll just collect loads of sticks and he doesn't really drop them. He's got like a stick pile that he has at the bottom of the garden. So when he goes and collects sticks, he'll bring them back and he'll add, add to the pile. We'd always come back from a walk and he's still just buzzing. He's still got loads of energy to go. So, you know, instantly his life just turned from coming from the streets to living a life of luxury, which um, he deserves for sure. Went over to him and we just connected and it was, yeah, it was uh, a moment meant to be, I think.